HVAC systems consume 40% to 60% of total energy in residential and commercial buildings. Proper insulation in buildings can reduce heating and cooling costs by up to 15% to 20% on average. And the most efficient and sustainable way to achieve this is by insulating attics, walls, floors, and ducts that prevents air leaks and thermal bridging, reducing the load on HVAC systems and improving overall comfort. This is best achieved by Gulf Oflex insulation products from the House of Rubber World Industry. Gulf Oflex insulation is a high-performance, closed-cell, elastomeric foam insulation product. The first product in UAE to have an EPD certificate, and it is engineered to integrate with HVAC systems, refrigeration, and plumbing applications to increase their efficiency by preventing energy loss and condensation. Let's get into the installation process, which involves few crucial steps like surface preparation, measuring and cutting, gluing and making shapes, application, sealing joints, special considerations. The primary components to execute the insulation process include Gulf O-Flex insulation products, a cutting template, and other accessories. Before installation, make sure that surfaces are clean and dry. Clean all surfaces using cleaner to remove grease, oil, dirt, etc. This will improve the adherence of the tubes and sheets to the metal pipes and surfaces. It will eliminate the possibility of developing any air pockets too. After preparing the surface, the next step is to measure and cut the tubes and sheets to required length. This step requires a set of sharp knives and a pre-calibrated cutting template. Different types of cuts are needed for elastomeric insulation on different kinds of bends. The most common form of the cuts is usually a two-piece 90, three-piece 90, and a three-piece T-cut. These three types of cuts usually take care of insulation of all types of bends. To make the cut, place a copy of the template face up on a table or worktop. Align an insulation tube across the template parallel to the horizontal baseline. Then, select the required angle cut from the template and cut along this line. For the two-piece 90 bend, cut the elastomeric insulation at 135 degrees, followed by the straight cut for a two-piece 90. This is a two-piece 90. Now, for three-piece 90, cut at 112.5 degrees, then at 67.5 degrees, followed by the straight cut. This creates a three-piece 90. For a three-piece T, cut an angle of 135 degrees, then at 45 degrees, followed by the straight cut, of 90 degrees. Again, repeat cutting at 135 degrees, then at 45 degrees, followed by the straight cut. This is a three-piece T. Various other forms of bends can be done. Bend with 90 degrees angle, bend with 45 degrees angle, segment bend with one middle part, segment bend with two middle parts, segment bend with three middle parts, cross-piece joint, Y-tube, swept T-piece, T-piece punched hole, T-piece V-shape hole, oversized 90 degrees bend, smooth finish 90 degrees bend, angle T-piece offset, and pipe reducer. After the pieces are cut in appropriate parts, it's time to glue them to create the required shapes of different types of bends. Apply glue to the complementary parts to be joined with the help of a clean, soft brush. Leave it for two minutes to dry and then join the pieces together smoothly so that no air can pass through it. Golf O Glue is an adhesive specially developed to bond 
Golf O Flex insulation. It joins the surfaces reliably and safely at medium temperatures of up to plus 110 degrees Celsius. The bond is resistant to weathering and aging. After the glue dries and the shape is formed, the next step is to wrap the tubes around the pipes, ducts, and other fabrications. To wrap around the pipes, we need to slit the tubes from the middle so they can be applied properly. The knife should be held at a low angle to make a precise cut. After the cut, apply the Gulf O Flex glue at the edges of the slit part and to the joints of another tube. Leave it for two minutes to dry. The high quality material of the Gulf O Flex tubes or sheet is flexible and conforms to all forms of shapes and sizes. The snap-on technique is a simple and efficient solution for insulating pipes. Measure and cut the required length to wrap the tube in between sections. Slit the flat part of the unslit tube along the entire length. Place the slit tube onto the clean pipe, apply a thin, even film of NBR adhesive to the two cut edges using a short bristle brush. Leave it for two minutes to dry and close the slit part for a perfect fit. For straight pipes, the sleeve-on technique is quick and effective. Simply slide the foam tube onto the pipe, ensuring a snug fit all the way through. The sleeve-on technique also works with pipes that have simple bends. As long as the diameter remains consistent, the foam tube can easily be slid over the curve. However, when it comes to complex shapes like T-joints or more intricate bends, the sleeve-on technique won't work. The foam tube can't fit securely over these complicated connections. Post-wrapping of the Gulf Oflex sheets and tubes, the joints must be sealed tightly to prevent air leaks or moisture infiltration. And this can be done with the help of Gulf Oflex tape that provides a secure seal around stress points like slits, bends, valves, and flanges, preventing them from loosening or deforming. Best of all, it's easy to apply for quick and effective insulation and must be applied at every joints and cuts for better application. If the outer diameter of the first layer is large enough because of the tube, then it's recommended that the second layer is made with sheet material since this can be adapted exactly to the outer diameter of the first layer. First, measure the circumference and the length of the existing tube. Now cut the sheets accordingly with a sharp knife. After the cut, apply a sufficient layer of Golfer Flex glue at the edges of the sheet. And when the piping diameter is above 600 millimeters, all over adhesive coverage is necessary on both surfaces. Now wrap the sheet on existing insulation. And remember, the ends of the tube or sheet of the second layer should be adhered to the first layer of insulation. Insulation of flat surfaces is easy and flexible with Gulfo Flex sheets. First measure the required lengths and cut the sheets accordingly with a sharp knife. Insulation on the underside of flat objects should be applied using all over adhesive coverage for all layers. Now measure the lengths again. Keeping in mind the added width of the applied insulation sheet for better application and cut the sheet accordingly.
apply the glue all over the surface again and cover it with the sheet after the glue dries and repeat the same process of measuring, cutting and gluing for each surface accordingly. After covering all surfaces with sheets, next is to cover the butt joints in between ducts with a foam tube. Measure the required length and cut the tube accordingly. After cutting the required length of tube, next is to cut the tube in half from the middle and then cut the edges of the tube at 45 degrees angle from both sides. Now place and check the tube on butt joints and then apply a thin layer of Gulf of Flex glue at the edges of the foam tube and leave it for two minutes to dry and then place it on the surface. Repeat the same process for every butt joint with the foam tube to insulate the ducts effectively. This is how the flat surfaces like ducts are insulated. Gulfo Flex insulation offers exceptional flexibility, making it easy to cut, fit, and seal joints precisely. Beyond its outstanding thermal insulation capabilities, it is also highly resistant to moisture absorption, reducing the risk of corrosion. Flexible and easy to install. Reduces energy consumption by improving system efficiency. Environmentally friendly with low VOC emissions. Gulf O-Flex insulation is making HVAC, refrigeration, and plumbing systems more efficient. Trusted for homes, businesses, and industries. Golfo Flex, a product of Rubber World Industry.